I am Archangel Michael. And I come to be with you at this time to help you to continue to understand who you truly are. How many of you, most of you, if not all of you, each and every night, find yourselves with me. Find yourselves with others that are working with you. Others from other systems, other planets, other, other families that you've had, that you are with in those times in your sleep state. Very much unaware, though, that you are in those states. Nevertheless, whether you are aware of it or not, you are all working together with me, me to vanquish the old, vanquish the dark forces once and for all, for this entire galaxy, for what you do here on the earth is not only here for the earth, but here for the entire solar system and beyond out into the galaxy. And as you go through your ascension process, so too is the entire galaxy going through this ascension. But you are the forerunners. Always remember that. You are the ones that come forward first and pave the way. Just as many of you know the story of John the Baptist paving the way for the Messiah to come. And as you have heard many times, you are the continuation of the Messiah. You are the continuation of the Christ consciousness here. Once again, to bring light to the earth, just as he came to bring light to the earth, love to the earth, and to continue on through out the many ages after him that would lead to this final point, this final point that, yes, indeed, you are approaching. Some of you call it the end of the movie, the end of the show. And indeed, it is the end, end of one part and the beginning of the new part, the new part of the journey, which always continues on. There is never an end to the journey, only to that part of the journey that you have, as you many, many know, volunteered to come here and be a part of. That time, that time is coming closer and closer to an ending point, and then a new beginning, a new beginning to bring light and love here on the planet so that all people, all people of all races, all religions, all come together as one and remember that they are one. And you join those of your families from the skies once again to continue on the evolution of mankind the evolution of the humankind, which has indeed spread throughout the galaxy and beyond. But you come together now as one, one people, one race, together. Trust. Trust in yourselves through this process in yourselves individually and as a collective to bring about this great change so that the great changeover in the solar flash can happen. It is only waiting. The God source is only waiting for you to trigger the event, you as the collective to trigger it. So trust Trust in the entire process and the plan that is in the works. That you have indeed been creating for some time now. You are creating this part of the plan. And moving yourselves more and more into the 
timeline of your choosing. The old timeline is not for you. You have moved beyond it. You have passed beyond the point of no return. Not that anyone, any of you would want to return. All are here. All of you are here to move on and continue on in this ascension process and to once and for all end this part of the journey, to end the show, end the movie. For indeed, you are watching a movie. It is time to reach the finale of that movie. I am Archangel Michael, and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness, and that you continue to be who you are, to be yourself through this. And to not in any way fall back. Do not fall back to the old programming. Realize and understand that you are creating the new programming that is you. Om Mani Padme Om Om Mani Padme Om Ma Om Ma Om Greetings to one who serves here and Shoshana is here and we are ready to uh, continue to assist you in this program. This program that was started long, long ago and that you have all been a part of in various ways, in your own ways. No one greater or lesser than anyone else. For, for you are all in this process together, all here to bring about this great changeover. So always, always trust in the process. Trust in who you are. Trust in those that are mentoring to you. Because we only have your best interests in mind as we are here to be of service. And with that, we are ready for your questions, if you have them. I have a question. Yes, here's Thomas, always the one that comes first. And we welcome I... to do so. Yes. I know you said that we shouldn't uh, worry about the October 4th stuff with our uh, cell phones and the emergency broadcast system, but I saw a very disturbing video about uh, the actual text that is going to be we, we supposed to be uh, broadcast on our phones or TVs, etc. on that particular day about a 12-hour purge of human life where you're, you won't be uh, arrested or detained or anything if you kill anybody that you want during those 12 hours. Is that something that is totally we not, false? We did not understand that last part you said here. What in the last 20, 12 hours? You can uh, kill anybody that you want without any repercussions. You won't be uh, arrested or anything if you do that within these 12 hours. I think that's totally false. My goodness, dear one, you are succumbing to the fear involved here. You are succumbing to the programming that they indeed are attempting to utilize here. But do not be concerned about this message as you have already been instructed in the last time here, mostly by Shoshana, to disengage from this that this message is not meant for those of you. And, and the message itself will not be that uh, direct here, we will say. It will be more in an indirect fashion as we are finding it. But even as of yet, it is not completely determined how or even if it will occur here. So do not be concerned about it. Certainly have no fear, because if you have fear, you are falling right into their plan here. So uh, 
be of good cheer, let go, let God, all of these things that you have, because you are right where you need to be and just continue to move forward, not backward, okay? Shoshana, do you have anything you add here? We wish to add here. May we add, dear brother? Of course. Dear brother, wherever this message that you received or video or channel or wherever you found this message, we would ask you to eliminate that stream from your your viewing delete it this is poison to humanity to give such a message so we would say that it is in prudent that you do not return to this channel or wherever you heard this message namaste yes and we would ask you a question would Mother, Father, God, all that is, allow something such as this to happen? Think about that. Thank you. you. Have all too far for this type of thing to be allowed to happen at this point. We are ready for next question. I have a question. Yes. Um, a channel, uh, Magenta Pixie, she brought forth some information, I think it was today, about our Merkaba bodies uh, being vehicles for travel in a, in a more common sense. That's sort of the gist of what I gathered just from one listening. Do you have anything to add about that? You are in the process of doing exactly that as we have been working with you, training you to be able to use your Merkaba light vehicle in exactly that fashion. For when you have moved through the ascension process, you will have that capability of being in one place and then instantaneously being in another place across the entire planet using your Merkaba light vehicle. Okay. Okay, thank you. And that, yes. Shoshana, do you have anything you add? I do not. Very good. We are ready for next question, if it is. Yes, I have a question. <clears throat> yes. Well, um, I w would like to know what is the significance of the number 12? like the 12 disciples, the 12, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 nights of, around the, round the ta round table, and the 12 astrology signs, and also on the New Jerusalem, there's 12 levels. There must be some type of significance, I would think, of the number 12. Very much so, but Shoshana wishes to address this. Wish yes. we share on this, dear sister? May we share? You sure may. Dear sister, as we find it that we have been given this, the idea of 12 is a root, is a root number. It is con a containment number so that that which is 12 is the dissemination in a broader sense of the knowledge that the number 12 and the representatives of 12 embody. So if you have, for example, 12 disciples, 12 is a root, a dissemination, that would carry forward the teachings of their teacher, who you know as Jesus or Yeshua. They embody that knowledge as 12. The 12 signs of the astrological realm embody 
and disseminate the knowledge that is meant for astrological processes to take place, to forward that level of information to humanity as 12. That is all we can say on this, that any time that you see 12, it is a root number that embodies a particular knowledge to disseminate to humanity. Namaste. Very Thank good. You. Very good. Are there any further questions here? Yes, I do have a question, beloved ones. Yes. As you may know, um, I have been working on this detox, the vaccine course, and um, we are working on it, I should say, my beloved teammate and I, and some others that are helping us. So do you think it will be necessary for me to set someone up who's maybe a little further behind than I am in case I pop through the veil and then this course is still needed and I'm not there to teach it? Or will I still be able to teach it? Or, I mean, you know, pop through the fifth dimension. Or will I? Will it not be needed? Uh, what is your thought on that? We will say here, not so much just for you who is asking this question, but for all here, it is not so much that you are ready to pop through into the fifth dimension. Although you have at times done exactly that. You have been there and uh, then come back because you are not quite ready to sustain the higher vibrational frequencies that you would need to, that your body could handle. Your body is not ready for that yet, your physical body we are speaking of here not quite ready to handle those higher vibrational frequencies on a regular basis. There are moments, there are moments when you are actually uh, walking through a portal that has opened up and allows you to have access to that higher vibrational frequency and higher dimension. But it is not something that you are ready to uh, have it be a lasting thing for you. Not yet at this point. So do not be concerned about whether you are going to be here or not be here. Just know that you are here now and that is all you need to know. What comes into the times ahead, uh, let that just come ahead. Do not be focused on the future and certainly do not look back on the past and hold to the past. Just be in this moment right now. Okay? Shoshana, you We have a perspective to share here. May we share, dear sister? Yes, please. Dear sister, the, the idea that you are sowing information into the quantum realm, into the quantum field. You are doing this by creating anything. You sow that, you transmute that, you add that to the quantum mind, to the universal mind, the quantum field. And it is there for the next to take up, you see. There is never a loss of information ever. It may take hundreds of years to pop back into humanity's consciousness or a week or a day or an hour. It, that does not matter. Time is irrelevant here as we have given before. So we will say that whatever you do in consciousness with your heart and your mind and your love and your compassion for others, will be recreated over and over and over again in the in the human in the course of human existence so you do not have to be concerned it is just like in this group that one says i cannot do the end Will someone else step up? There is always someone else. There is always someone waiting to take up the yoke, you see. You do not have to be concerned. If you wish to ascend and you can do that and you can pop through the veil, do it as another will take your place. 
Namaste. Mark, thank you. Are there any further questions here? Nothing further, then we are ready to release channel. Uh, Shoshana, do you have anything you add? In part I would just say that that nothing is lost. All things that are created are recorded. And humanity has access to those things. Just as now there are new things showing up in in the consciousness of man and as material things that are of sound and vibration for healing techniques that have been around for tens of thousands of years, yet now is the time for your your consciousness in this particular realm to receive it. So nothing is ever lost and all things come in the divine time when man's consciousness can receive it. Namaste. Pretty good. And we say in closing here, just uh, continue to be in the higher vibrational frequency as much as you possibly can, whenever you can, however you can. And do not let yourselves fall back into the old programming, the anger, the frustration, all of those things that bring up the triggers uh, that are that old programming. Let go more and more of those times of the past, to those things that have held you back for so long, and be in the moment now. That is all. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one.